So I just got my camera. Now I just have the battery charging and I'm just waiting for it to be fully charged before I test the camera out. And I'm just currently eating my breakfast and watching Sarah Faber's one of her vlogs, vlog number 22. Okay, just a quick update. I am now filming with my new Canon SL3 and I am loving it. The quality of it is really good, really good. I'm just sitting by my window in my living room and um, trying to figure out a spot where it's really good lighting. It is heavy carrying this. Okay. I'm resting my arm on my knee now. Please do not mind the background. We're in the midst of renovating, so it's a slow process. And But it's going to get done eventually. Anyways, so what I'm doing now is just making a list of things to prep up for my channel on YouTube. Um, just organizing and uh, setting up goals it's very nice out <laughs> so one thing I thought that I should do or that I would like to do is to just organize my art all that I've done in the past since while well, I was in school and stuff on the side as well um, unfortunately I left some of my art stuff in Durham College and I haven't been able to get them because of the, the virus. So I'm trying to get in contact with my teacher and he is known for responding emails very late. So I sent him an email before. We discussed uh, before the Christmas holiday um, to meet up but like it was just difficult. I, I can't drive all the way there and come back in one day I have to it's like a lot of driving and I tend to fall asleep because I am a six months pregnant so I'm trying to figure out how to get there and then I asked my parents if they can pick it up but then they're busy with their schedule so it didn't happen now I'm trying to contact him again to see if we can actually do it because what I'm planning to do now is go there and then the next day I'll come back because I do have a dentist appointment next week on Tuesday I think it is so I figure you know I can kill two birds with one stone I also thought about testing out my scanner and so let's check it out okay so I came across this picture on my Instagram anyways this pi there you go this picture on my Instagram and now I just gotta find it somewhere over here um this is all my stuff some of my large canvas sketchbooks over here storage rack shelving unit I've got like three or four of them A box of uh, the wood panels the framings to build canvases um yeah and so all this needs to go downstairs eventually as soon as I get my storage unit and desk which is going to come in one week from actually a couple of days Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, something like that so yeah the canvas should be somewhere in there and that one too ugh forgive the mess please forgive the mess this area used to be the my studio 
Now this is gonna be Gabriella's new room. Her old room is gonna be where the baby's room is gonna be. That's that. So let's get to it. Let's find it. So I found it. I don't even know what the size is like. What, four, three, five, six, seven, eight inches? No, not eight. Actually, it could be eight. I don't know, three inches, something like that. So this is it. And I'm gonna test out my scanner here. Oh, I forgot my laptop. I need to get my laptop. Be right back. So this is the printer I have. It's the Canon. What is it? TS3 or 6320. And I've been doing some research on what kind of printer to get in terms of what I wanted to do, which is to print out uh, for stickers and art prints. I have not used the scanner to scan my art prints, so this is gonna be. A trial run. I used the scanner to submit um, Gabriella's homework to her teacher because I print them out and then I scan it so that I can submit it to the teacher. That's all I used it for. So let's give it a whirl. not the way I wanted it to turn out now I gotta do some research on how to do it properly because this is a canvas not a flat surface so I've done some research and turns out I can't really scan a canvas so my next option is to take a picture good thing I got this new camera to do that but I'll do that another time but in the meantime I want to test out the scanner so I'm gonna find a paper or something, a painting I've done on like paper and test out the scanner. So we'll do just that.
So I just scanned my art and unfortunately it is bigger than I expected. So not too focused on the size just yet. I just want to test out the quality of it as I scan it and I'm actually pretty pleased with it. So now I'm just opening up Lightroom to do editing and see how it turns out. So yeah. pleased with it I am so excited to do more and now I just gotta get the appropriate paper to scan them or to print them 